They're adding some extra space on board the International Space Station, installing an expandable module to give everyone a bit more room. A NASA team using a robot today to help unpack the new module. It will be inflated next month and then tested for two years to see if the fabric can hold up. We are joined now by Bob McDonald, host of CBC's Quirks and Quirks. So Bob, what will astronauts on the space station use this inflatable room for? Well, actually, actually, they're just going to use it as a test bed to see how well it holds air and whether or not it gets punctured by space dust and micrometeoroids that are flying around the space station all the time, and just to see how well it does. Uh, that's all this is a purpose for. Uh, in the future, they're going to have much larger ones that uh, people will actually be able to live in, but it's a proof of concept. And by the way, today, that robotic arm that they used is our own Canada arm, a very important part of this to take it out of the capsule that brought it up to space and mounted on the outside of the space station. So once it's inflated, the astronauts are only going to go into it a, a few times just to make sure that everything's okay, do some checks, and then just let it sit to see how it survives in space. Okay, you mentioned the inflation of it. What is the process there in the next month? Well, the whole idea is to save money, to bring up something small and make it big in space, because space, everything costs money to get up there. And the more massive something is, the more it costs. So this idea is to bring up something small and inflate it. It's made of fabric that's, uh, well, they, they're calling it proprietary, but it's very much like Dacron, the kind that's used in sails on sailboats. It's very tough, it's very flexible, and it has many, many layers to it. So they're slowly going to inflate this thing, and they're going to get a 400 times increase in volume inside this module 400 times for just a little bit of inflation and that's the whole idea and uh, then they're going to just uh, test it to make sure that it uh, it stays inflated and uh, that everything works part properly can you give us the exact measurements of how big it is I think I read somewhere seven by eight is that right yeah that's not very big it's uh, you if you weren't inside it and uh, and you put your arms out like this you could probably you know almost touch both <laughs> walls it's just like sort of being inside a, a really large beach ball but in the future the same company is planning to put up one that you could live in that, uh, you know, would be, um, well, with two of them, they, these things could go up. You put two of these big balloons in space, you hook them together, and you would have a space that would be about one-third the size of the International Space Station, which itself is about the size of a six-room house. So they can get quite large, and uh, if, the, if this succeeds, I think we're going to see more of these inflatable structures in the future. Wow, so is this a game-changer? Absolutely. This is another case of a private company doing things a lot cheaper than the way the governments have been doing it in the past. In the past, they've sent up solid metal modules on big rockets that cost a huge amount of money. And now we've got two private companies. First, SpaceX that brought it up there at much, much cheaper cost. And now this Bigelow company that's putting this small thing up that can grow large and do it at far, far less cost. And this is the future. Private companies doing things more cheaply in space so that it's easier to get up there. Uh, I think we're going to see some of these modules even used as space hotels. They <laughs> talked about that. Uh, or putting one on the moon or in orbit around the moon. So you watch out. This is a game changer, as you say. What about here on Earth? Could these rooms be used here? They could be. I mean, we already have inflatable structures. A lot of uh, stadiums, you know, use inflatable roofs. I don't think they need to be as complicated as this one. But they are talking about using these things as habitats on the moon. Because all you need is just send it up there, and it'll inflate itself. You don't have to build anything. They could do the same thing on Mars. Send up small containers that inflate themselves so that by the time you get there, it's already ready for you. So it's more of a space application than an Earth application, but as we've seen, every time we go into space with new technology, there are usually spin-offs back here on Earth. So the astronauts can dance right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Okay, Ash. Bob McDonald, host of CBC's Quirks and Quirks in Victoria.